Beats here from Pop Turner speaking to Miles Perez about my life with the Walter Boys, which is now streaming worldwide on Netflix. Welcome to the show, man. It's good to see you. Thank you for having me. This is great. I'm uh, excited. I mean, you know, the show hasn't even been out for a month, if we think about it. Yeah. <laughs> which is surprising, uh, especially from the response that it's been getting. It's kind of I mean, number crazy, one but... in so many countries instantly. I think that's the craziest thing about Netflix. And you saw that a little bit, too, with the, the Curse of Bridge Hollow as well. Like the quickness of it is pretty crazy, right? Yeah, Netflix is great at that. I mean, they definitely they definitely know what they're doing. And with this show, it's it's I mean, Curse of Bridge Hollow is cool. But something about these love triangle shows i mean <laughs> they cause quite a buzz oh it's we're crazy. gonna get to the, the teams we're gonna get to team alex and team yeah. cole soon but let's 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 get war let, let's get some warm-up questions in there because Perfect. i'm, I'm some, ready <laughs> um audition process i feel like depending on the on the project it's different what was this one like did you audition for the character you got did you know that it was like walter boys the wattpad novel like i'm just curious about that yeah, this one was very different. Very different from any audition I've done. Um, usually auditions, you... Uh, and I'm only speaking for my character. Yeah. I don't know how anyone else's audition went. But usually for auditions... And I've been doing this since a little a little infant. Um, you know, you would go at least five or six auditions. You'd end up in this room full of like 30 people watching you. And... It's very intimidating process. This one, not so much like that. I mean, um, I only did this with like one audition, I think. Yeah. Not even a callback, which is which is kind of crazy. Um, and I also auditioned for Isaac's character. Okay. Which I'm very glad I didn't get <laughs> because <laughs> I mean, seeing it in retrospect, there's no way I don't think I could have played that character confidently. And that character is just so Isaac and Lee. Lee was fun. I love yeah. playing Lee. Absolutely. It's interesting because you look at a lot of shows and TV uh, shows and movies, Miles, that have ensemble casts. Like it's mm -hmm. one thing to work on a movie or a show that has an ensemble cast. But maybe you have like a couple of scenes with people. For this one, like you're really working with an ensemble cast you know what i oh, mean so what was that like for you You know what i mean right like sometimes you could just show up for yeah. a couple episodes have the chats with two or three people even though there's like 20 on the show but this one you really get to work with a lot of incredible I, people i think we right when i started filming we just got right into it i mean one of the first scenes i filmed i remember is with uh it was with the whole family yeah so it was like getting there getting to meet these people having to run this crazy chaotic scene where we have this sort of choreography of everyone going around each other and meeting all these people, having these one-on-one -on -one dynamics, meeting people I'm supposed to be close with, like like my brother Isaac, who we've actually known each other prior to the show, so okay. it helped our relationship a lot. But um, it's it can be very intimidating. It keeps everything exciting. I mean, you, <laughs> there's so many people, but they're all very <laughs> professional. So it's it's every day is a new day, getting to film with new people every day, meeting new people, going to the high school, going to the house. Everything was um, you never knew what to expect. And I love that. But it also did intimidate me a lot. Yeah, <laughs> and I was wrecked sometimes. I'm just like, I feel I, I feel like it's hard not to be intimidating. I feel yeah. like it's one of those things where it's like it's going to be intimidating, but how are you going to deal with it? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the best thing. I mean, getting together with the cast yeah. and just having more of those vulnerable moment, moments and really connecting on a level where it's like, oh, my God, we're all in the same boat. This is great. I feel we like don't you, have to... you, yeah, you hit a really interesting point, too, about just kind of like diving in, right? Like you, like yeah. the family and just boom, going in. I feel like that's like interesting to hear. Which is the best. It's the best way to go. Yeah. I think. Um, at least for me, I overthink everything. So yeah. preparing myself too much kind of freaks me out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Over I think and that was overthinking the best. Thing. And it, the, it's the holiday season, too, right? It's, yeah. it's the <laughs> yeah. I will say something that's quite interesting is because yeah. me and Isaac, we got there a little late as opposed to the rest of the cast. Yeah. Which kind of helped with our dy dynamic on the show. I mean, me and him are more family and we're the cousins of the family. Mm -hmm. And because we're going into this new environment, it kind of helped with uh, 
just the dynamics we had with the family mm -hmm. because yeah. we always had the comfort between each other and because we were tighter with each other yeah. going into this thing it made everything much better but now i love everyone i mean they're all great <laughs> and, I, and i have a question that i've also asked all your castmates um taking like a like taking the like the love triangle kind of away from it besides that i think the big kind of takeaways or key things i really got from this show the three things were it had a lot of heart um a lot of the characters obviously the coming of age perspective and then the self-reflection oh, yeah. perspective because i feel like a lot of the characters are just figuring things out day by day so i was wondering if there was kind of an element of those three the heart the self-reflection or the coming of age that really stood out for you making this this show specifically i like the self-reflection yeah. especially with, um i mean i love that throughout everyone's character i feel like it was very prominent in my character because we're all just a bunch of messy teenager kids, which a lot of people have to understand. These aren't like <laughs> <laughs> people will just expect you to have it all together. And they're like, why are they acting this way? Blah, 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 blah. It's just the, the reality. People are messy. And, and I think it's very, very fun. And it makes it more makes people more human, especially when they self reflect. And there's that sort of arc in their story of, oh, Maybe we shouldn't hate this character as much. Maybe they're not that bad. Or, oh, there's a little redemption, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think uh, I would say that one stands out to me. Yeah. And I think it's because of my, how I, how I deal with Lee yeah. and how I see him mm -hmm. throughout the, the scattered scene time or screen time that I had. <laughs> I find it. I, I'm gonna like this is a pre question for my actual question. Have mm -hmm. you seen online every like? Have you have you been online seeing kind of oh, yeah. theories? Yeah, because oh, yeah. so so here's my question. Then I'm sure there's kind of. I mean, you go make a show. It's kind of hard, right? It's really hard to predict things because I feel like with a show like this, it's like you know what's going to happen, but at the end of the day, you don't know what's going to happen. You know that yeah. there's going to be a lot of people that are going to enjoy it. You're maybe not sure how quick it's going to be or anything like that. Is there anything that surprised you online so far about the Team Alex, Team Cole stuff? Or is it basically what you thought it was going to be? There's a lot of divisive things which we knew was going to happen. Well, that's the but... weird thing. I, I, this, whole, <laughs> this whole show, like, I never really was thinking ahead of how it would do or how the fans would interpret it or even how how big it's doing i mean <laughs> it's, it's it's crazy like um the fans are really loving it i knew it could somehow what audience it would reach and where which pocket it would fall in but it was nothing i ever and i i love seeing all the <laughs> the edits <laughs> yeah yeah before this like i wasn't even like really online much or on instagram or but now i know <laughs> i know it's bad for you you kind of have to be it could be a little toxic but like i love it i mean i'm just going in there reading comments watching all the edits of every character and it's just it's just i think that in itself is the most surprising thing just how it's how good it's doing and how how many people are really debating the team Cole and team Alex? Like, yeah, but you also have to understand something that I've been bringing up to your cast. And then people think about this. Like, I didn't think about this. I mean, school is like, we're not on a holiday break yet. Like people are on a, in exams. You know what I mean? Like think of all the people that's gonna crazy over the Christmas break. <laughs> the holiday See, break. I didn't, I didn't even think about that. That's a really <laughs> good point. Oh my <laughs> God. It's just, it's just getting started. Yeah, and, uh, I'm just saying, like, it. there's people in exams and everything. We've seen the comments, like, oh, I can't wait to watch this during the holiday break. Like, we haven't even seen it yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, And I think that's the crazy thing about – that's the very crazy thing about TikTok and just yeah. how it's able to pass the information around so quickly. It's like a wildfire. I mean, every – even people I don't know necessarily have been like, I shouldn't say no, but like people have just been sending me edits mm -hmm. that I, I didn't even know would watch the show. And I'm just like, this is, this is kind of crazy, huh? Uh, it, it's, it's wild. <laughs> I just want to know for me from a storytelling perspective and actor perspective, the journey of reading a script, preparing to play these characters and everything, and then the journey of going and actually filming it. Are those yeah. two separate journeys for you from an acting storyteller perspective, or are they kind of all one big journey with multiple steps? 
that's interesting. Um, it's definitely a big journey yeah. with multiple steps. But you're so uh, invested in these scripts sometimes. Like, like yeah, 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 going that, in, you know what I mean? I'm not – I'm terrible with the whole um, <laughs> how I structure things. So to me, it's all one big experience. Um, and I, I find it really cool. I mean, yeah, looking back on things and being like, whoa – to think we because then now you look at it and it's like oh okay there's obviously were a few steps there you know reading the script and then practicing the character practicing rehearsing with the cast and then now seeing it it's like wow there's definite steps that that were taken to get here and it's cool it's cool to look back in retrospect but during the time i don't think i ever really thought about it as these certain separate parts it was just one one thing I was just doing and, and yeah. it was, it's, it was great. It's pretty funny because this question that I'm about to ask you, you kind of answered it a little bit in the beginning, beginning of this interview. And I thought of that cause I was going to ask you this, but are you conscious of the audience member watching this show while you're making it? Or is that no. more kind of, yeah, exactly. Cause I always <laughs> thought that was interesting because I feel like you might read something and you and like Isaac have a cool scene or something. And you're like, Oh, maybe you're saying like, Oh man, people are going to lose their minds on this. Like maybe it will happen. You know what I mean? But it, it probably doesn't happen that much. Right? No, I don't. Yeah. Um, I, I'm sure that awareness is always there. And the yeah. fact that this is going on TV, mm -hmm. uh, but no, I, I think I'm way too much in my own head to yeah. figure or to really even think out to the audience. I'm so dialed in into what I have to be doing or or what I could be doing to make things better. And I know for a fact if that voice is also in my head mm -hmm. of what the audience would think, I'll just I'll be a wreck. Um <laughs> But yeah, that's just for me. I'm sure there's people that can mm -hmm. handle that better and but uh, yeah. no, that's a really interesting question because yeah. it's not something I've thought about day in, day out on set. It's it's maybe once or twice. Mm -hmm. Um, but then again, you never know how how good a show is gonna do. Well, or... my my perspective, the reason I bring up a lot of those those questions, Miles, about you know the con the uh, being conscious of the audience or like the journeys mm. from reading it to making it is because. I find the craft and the how we got there very interesting because yeah. this is a show that's number one in so many countries on Netflix right now. And yeah. I kind of want to dive into the making of the BTS. Like, how did we? And get I think there? that's the thing. It, yeah. It's we didn't, or I didn't have the view on the show of which I have right now, and that's yes. with how big it's doing and 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 how many people it's reaching. And I'm very um. A day by day person. I just, you know, focus on the scene I have to do that day. And throughout the whole project, it's just me filming. I'm like, okay, what can I do? How can I relax? Sometimes you just need to chill out and not focus so much and just have fun. And um, that's the thing. It was just me stressing about making the show the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't well, think you're I in have. the zone, right? You're in the mind zone. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's performance, right? Like it's 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 yeah. pre-filmed. It's like it's it's not live, <laughs> but it's performance. yeah. It is also so <laughs> it's so easy to get lost in that too. I definitely yeah. think you can get too much into it where you're just like. Yeah. Like, why am I thinking about this too much? Oh, absolutely. You know? But I, yeah, no. And I'm really happy for you and the cast and everything. It's amazing. Okay, last question. Um, I'm asking Miles Perez as a fan of my life with the Walter Boys, which is streamed now worldwide on Netflix. Okay. Are you Team Cole, Team Alex, or Team Jackie? Ooh. See, I put the Team Jackie in there because I kept asking people. And they'd Are always you team be like, Cole or Team, team Alex? And they're like, I'm Team Jackie. I don't know about that. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, right. Um, uh, I would say I'm, I'm uh, Team Isaac. I think he has a great oh. plot going on. I think he's doing amazing things. It's my favorite character. You just I love set up Walter. the whole floodgates for the Team Isaac <laughs> comments in this YouTube video. I hope you know I'm that, so right? annoying. Like I just have to pick like a different thing. How uh, many I'm gonna comments are you going to have in the YouTube now? Team Isaac! <laughs> He's going to message you like, what did you do? <laughs> no, great actor. Really admire him. What about Team Lee? 
Oh, uh, Lee's cool too. Oh, I love Lee. I mean, uh, he's a skater. He's a skater boy. He's cool. He's uh dealing with his own issues. Uh, but I don't Isaac. think anyone wants to admit if they're actually like. Maybe you are Team Alex, or maybe you are Team Colby. You just don't want to say it. And I'll respect that. But I feel like we're at the point now. It is kind of weird too because it's like, oh my god, these are like, like I don't even know how they would take it. It's in Netflix's are, Instagram bio. Did you see that? These are like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> are like what okay and um, these guys are like it's weird because they're like your friends now and yeah. <laughs> it's kind of also like oh, i wonder totally. how they would say that if i was just like team that team that yeah 100 percent. because i asked them both on the press day and they were both like team jackie they're being and, modest look at them <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they can catch you as Lee in my life with the Walter Boy streaming now worldwide on Netflix. Miles, so great chatting with you, man. Thank you so much for coming on the this show. Great. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. Absolutely. Uh, Speaking fun. of your Instagram, uh, it's just your name, right? Or is it just is there an, is is it Miles it's, Perez or it's O K A Y Miles. So okay, Miles. Yeah, they'll check it out. But if they also put Miles Perez, I it will come up. Yeah, yeah. Episode. You can find me at Miles Perez. Awesome. Well, this has been Pop Turner, YouTube.com slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. You can catch Miles Perez as Lee in my life with a Walter Boy streaming now worldwide on Netflix. Until next time, this is Miles and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.